What's up everybody? I'm gonna show you how to remove a fuel rail and injectors out of an E46 BMW. This is the N54 engine. Um, I guess the same for the N54 TUs. This is a 330 CI. But if you were lucky enough, you got all the way to this part. You got your fuel rail sitting here. You take off the. Uh, let me see where is it at. I'm currently doing a head gasket on mine. Air equalizer bar sits on top right here. You take out these bolts right here show you in a second what they are uh, T40 but they're gonna be a T30 one of the two I believe is gonna be a T30 but after you take that off you want to pry underneath very gently if you pry too hard you're gonna crack it basically you put a screwdriver in right here you pry while you're lifting it right here, and you do it gently for each one. What I like to do is I do it like just a little by little, a little bit here, a little bit there. You'll feel it coming up, and then eventually you'll be able to pop it out. But yeah, you'll have your bolts. You'll take those out. Pop that up real gently. Take these out. The uh, M54 TUs do not have this. It connects these two together. You pop that sucker off. Make sure you bag all the bolts, label them properly, keep everything organized, if, especially if you're not, usually don't do this too often, you know, or you're clumsy. Anyways, this sits in here, the fuel rail, you take out the top bolts, forgot what bolt size those are, but you'll figure it out. You take that out, and then you don't even need to pry it really with a screwdriver or nothing. You can just take it by hand and just pull up gently at each injector. And then you swivel that up, like so. And then you turn it a little bit, and then you'll be able to clear the firewall up here. And you can pull it out, and when you pull it out, you want to jump up on a chair or whatever. Climb up in the engine well a little bit. You will find the end of it where it goes all the way down. Let me find it because I already got it disconnected here. This little guy. And what you want to do is this nipple right here. I mean, the end of this uh, the fuel rail piping sits in there. You want to pull this blue down. See how it moves a little bit? I don't know, it won't focus. But you want to use like both hands pushed down and you can keep it there with one thumb and quickly just slide the fuel rail off. And that's how you get the fuel rail. Not that hard. A little bit of common sense, guys. I don't know why everybody's so scared of BMWs. You just need a little common sense. And there you go. And then make sure... Watch out because when you take it off, it's going to be dripping a little gas. See how it did right there? I already got it all over the front of the car. And then when you take these off, it's actually a good idea. Anything with a, with um little rubber seals like this, you want to take some penetrating oil and uh, lube it up a little bit. Especially if it's going to be out of, the, out of its place for a while. Because you don't want the natural air and doing this thing on it's gonna dry it out and dry rot it and fuck it all up look at those pretty injectors wish i can get bigger ones here soon and you want to take the injectors out you just put a screwdriver in between here i'm not actually going to take it out but i'm going to show you how to do it Show you where you got to put everything and set it up. Take a screwdriver, put it in between here, gently pry up. Slide this metal washer off. It's like a metal locking piece.
piece. Slide that off and your injectors will pop right out. Stick in the screwdriver, pry it up a little bit while you're pushing down. You take this metal clip out and then your injectors will pop out. Have fun and relax, everything's cool, not that hard.